Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will solve the question kth missing positive number. Given an array of positive integers sorted in strictly increasing order and an integer k, we need to find the kth positive integer that is missing from the array. In the first example, we are given a few numbers which are sorted and we are given a k that is 5. So the missing numbers here would be 1, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12 and so on. And the fifth missing here is 9. So the output becomes 9. For the example 2, the missing numbers would be 5, 6, 7 and so on. And the second missing number would be 6 and so is the output. Now let's see how we can solve this question. There are different ways we can solve this problem. First is by using a brute force searching. In this brute force searching, we traverse through the array to find the ith missing number. Once this i becomes equal to k, we return the number that we have found. This method would take a time complexity of o of n. Can we reduce this time complexity? Yes. Since the array is given to be sorted, we can apply a binary search. So how do we apply it? Let's take these two examples and find out what led us to binary search. So in the first example, we can say that the missing numbers are in range of these numbers itself. How do we find that out? We can find out by counting the missing numbers. This count can be given by the formula the end minus the expected end. So here we can see that the last element is 11 while the actual last element should have been 5 because the array is of length 5. If we subtract the expected end from our actual end, we get 6, which tells us that there are 6 numbers in this range which are missing. And since our k is equal to 5, which is less than this count, we can say that we will find the number within this range. In the second example, we see that there are no numbers missing in this range and we are given k equal to 2. So the answer would lie outside this list. In this case, we can give the answer directly by saying that, okay, the answer would be the end element plus k minus the numbers that are missing at this point. So here the answer becomes 4 plus 2, which is 6. While in this first example, we can apply a binary search to find where this number is. So now let's take this first example and try to apply the binary search. We'll place our left at 0, right would be the last index and mid comes out to be 2 using the formula. Now when we see the missing element till this mid, we can say that only one number is missing because the number present at this index is 4 and the expected number that should have been here was 3 which is the index plus 1. When now we compare where we need to search, we would definitely get that we need to search in the right part because we need fifth number. So we move our left to mid plus 1 and then the mid becomes third index. Again when we see the formula we know that three numbers are missing till this midpoint and so our answer lies in the right. So we again shift this to right. Now here we see that there are six numbers that are missing. So we need to search in left so we decrease right. And now right and left does not satisfy the condition of the binary search that we do that is left is less than right. Here, right becomes less than left. So we can just consider that our array was this and find out the missing number. So the missing number here would become the last element or the element at this right position plus k minus the count that is missing after this. So that gives us 7 plus 5 minus 3 that is 9 which is our expected answer. Now, there is one more special case wherein if we just had this 2 and 3 and we need to find the first missing number, in that case our right would have come to minus 1. Whenever we encounter such a situation that our right becomes minus 1, we can say that our answer lies within the bracket of 1 to the element present at 0th index. So, we can return just our k. So in this case where we were supposed to find the first missing positive, it would have come to be k itself which is 1 and so we would have returned that. So now that we know the approach, let's try to code it. Let's take a few variables. First is the n which would be array.length. Then we'll take left which would be 0 
and write which would be n minus 1. The first base case that we can check is whether our k is outside the bounds. For that we need to compute our missing numbers. So we take missing equal to let's write a formula to compute it and this formula here so this would be actual minus expected now we take a while loop while left is less than equal to right we do something and otherwise we return we can get a situation where right becomes equal to minus 1 in which case we will return k otherwise we will return right plus k minus compute the missing numbers till that point which becomes the element present and the expected that is index plus 1. In here first thing we do is calculate mid. So mid becomes left plus right minus left by 2 then we compute missing till mid which becomes compute mid plus 1. If this missing count is greater than or equal to k we can say that the number lies in left. So we do right equal to mid minus 1. Otherwise, we do left equal to mid plus 1. That's all. Let's run this code and it is giving us a perfect result. Let's try to submit this code and it got submitted. The time complexity for this approach is log n as we are using binary search and the space complexity is O of 1 as we are not using any extra space. So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.